The sun shines on a blessed day in Hong Kong and these rays of light illuminate the path for a brand new set that I am so excited to get my hands on. I got my boys, all my brutes, all my Halo 3 brutes specifically because today we've got the Covenant Brute Lance Pack and I kind of just squashed all my brutes. Sorry guys. Look at this thing. I, I saw this many years ago and back then I wasn't collecting too hard so I didn't get hold of it and I was also living in China so it was pretty impossible. But I just scored this thing and it's a pretty battered box. It's got a really interesting story behind it and what I hope will lead into an entire video series. So I scored this thing on an app called Carousel in Hong Kong. It's a really cool sort of Facebook marketplace vibing app where you can meet up with people and exchange goods for cash and you always meet up at a different underground station. So it's really exciting. I've got a couple more deals on the way and I hope to do a travel blocks episode which is called the Black Market of Hong Kong. Here we've got the Covenant Brute Lands. Four Halo 3 Brutes. I think we've got a Brute Captain Major and Minor, two Miners actually, and this beautiful little watchtower with a barricade as well. I'm so excited, look at it. Oh, look at my Halo 3 Brutey boys. They look exactly like, I love when they use the screenshots from the games, especially the old ones, and this showcases the whole set. This is like a fire team dialed up to 11. Like, I'm not that interested about getting like four different colored Spartans when I've already got those Spartans in so many other colors colors, but to get four brutes in one set, that's so epic. And we're starting off this set with this silver brute captain. Wow, he is gorgeous. Look at that. He's got silver armor that makes him stand out in the crowd. That's amazing. And then he's got a brown undersuit, but it does transition to light gray, light sort of white. It's, it's sort of like a creamy color, and it transitions to that at the end of each of his limbs, so it gives you the idea that he's just wearing a jumpsuit on top of his bare exposed limbs here. Then maskless, he looks like the old gorilla monkey boy. He's not a Craig yet, he's not evolved. An evolutionary chart of monkeys. We should do that, actually. We should make an evolutionary chart of monkeys with the Halo brutes going up until Craig the brute at the end. Halo 3 brute in all his ugly glory. He's an absolutely ugly monkey. <laughs> And he comes in this silver. I can't get enough of this silver. Wow. And the Brute Captain, just such an excellent mold. It looks massive. The thing that messes me up sometimes about Halo Mega Constructs is from afar with a good toy photographer, they look like McFarlane figures. Like I've been tricked before, especially with the new Halo Heroes Series 13 Elite Warlord. I genuinely thought it was a McFarlane figure when I saw some pictures on Instagram. So Brute Captain aside, he's epic and he comes fully constructed, but the other ones we have to build ourselves. Let's start with the Brute Major. I love building me some brutes. It's a good morning to build them. And also, I just I just want to say, guys, I feel a sigh of relief that the Christmas Toymation Fest is over. I had such a wonderful time doing it, and I can't wait for next year. But goodness me, it consumed my, my life, basically. I was so much time. I mean, can you imagine compiling 122 entries that span across all those places in the community? I allowed people to submit applications everywhere, submit videos everywhere. So there were so many places I had to keep track of. My Excel document was enormous. The biggest Excel document document I've ever had. I've got a list of videos and I can just sort of kick back my feet and say, okay, what do I want to make next? Like, there's no rush, I can choose whatever I want. So now I really wanted to get this one out. This is just a nice, simple video. I'm getting really fast with my editing so I can have more time for other things, which is really great. Yesterday I put out two videos, my Christmas Toymation Fest montage and also a Mandalorian and Baby Yoda uh, Lego build, which I know Lego is crazy, but it was a really cool build and I enjoyed it. I really like the Mandalorian, so I wanted to branch out and do something more interesting for you that isn't just Halo all the time. Like, don't get me wrong, I'll do 99 Halo videos and then one non-Halo video and it'll be fun like it'll just it'll just mix it up One of the main critiques I have on these videos is I always put the shoulders on wrong I've probably done it there. I just want to focus on making a good video I don't really want to focus too hard on putting the right shoulders on the right places And also it's not even that obvious sometimes on the pictures, but I'll make sure I do it correctly today for you guys He says I mean I might still do it wrong, but they look okay. Yeah, they look pretty good There's our brute major next to 
the brute captain, and then we've got two brute miners. Let's tear them open. Whoa! I believe they're just the exact same mold. I don't see why they wouldn't be. They're just the exact same figure twice. I've changed up my schedule a little bit for the rest of the week. I originally promised that I was going to build a diorama on my live stream, but actually I'm going to just build the defense point showdown this time, and next weekend I'll be building the diorama. And that's only because the defense point showdown is the main piece of the diorama, so I don't know what I was thinking scheduling them the other way around. You can't build a diorama without the defense point showdown. There we go, the brute miner. Yeah, he's got a uh, really chunky chunky legs. Have I done that right? He does look like he's got disproportionately chunky legs compared to his thin pelvis. And then, yeah, these knee guards might also be incorrect. What I always do is I put all these pieces on and then I check it properly after the video, just because I need to focus on a lot of things during filming that I can't really have time for that. I can just do it later. I just want to give you guys the main build. But I have people saying that, like, it really frustrates them when I put things on the wrong way around. I do apologize for guys. I'll try, I try my best. That is it for the brutes. Oh, they look fantastic don't they? All right, the brutes are built. Now it's time for this structure and we're gonna speed build this. All right. We got that put together. That is a really cool watchtower. And we're gonna switch up the camera angle to see what this really looks like. <laughs> Look what we've got here. And the sun is literally shining in on this brute glory. This is epic. I mean, this control tower, pretty simple, but also, yeah, for the price, I mean, it's like way smaller than ones we've had in the past, like with the Hornets, but it is so cheap. It's just free, basically. Like I always view the accessories in these sets as free because the brutes, they're already worth that money. So so it's just extra accessories, especially this barricade. Compared to ones we've got recently in 2020, this is a way more detailed barricade. I love these spikes on the front, and it's even fleshed out way more at the bottom. So I'm a big fan of that. Really cool. And then the four brutes, it's really great that we have ranks for these sets. We've got the brute captain, major, two miners, and really, I can't wait to make a Halo 3 diorama with all these. They are so epic. I mean, they are just, they are so cool. Brutes for life, boys. Craig the Brute for life. Uh, we'll call this, uh, Gerald the Brute. Gerald the Brute is Halo 3. He's about to evolve into Craig the Brute. You got a glorious future ahead of you, my friend. This was another video with the domain, guys. I know it was a quick short one, but I just wanted to get this video out, show you guys this epic set, and then tune in on Sunday for my live stream where I'm building the Defense Point Showdown, and then all next week, I'm gonna be rocking loads of new sets, a snap build of the Hijacked Ghost, an open opening of the Marine Platoon pack. I've got Halo Heroes Series 13 on the way, Infinite Blind Bag Series 2. What an epic time. What an epic way to start off the new year. You guys stay safe out there. The Brute Captain is signing off. Bye.